Incredible story there. Well, parents of students. Watch with Bill Hutchins and Julie Brown. Good evening. A Kingston man is being called a hero for his actions that helped to save the life of an Inverary man and his dog. The pair fell through the ice of Collins Lake on Sunday. Frontenac OPP say the man and his dog are lucky to be alive after spending more than 50 minutes in the frigid water. Newswatch's Morgan Campbell reports. Barry Braithwaite describes himself as an everyday kind of guy, an upholsterer in the west end of Kingston who enjoys fishing with his family. And on Sunday, he and his family were in the right place at the right time while ice fishing on Collins Lake. He knew exactly what the problem was. Anybody screaming for help, obviously he's in the water somewhere. Braithwaite was moving his ice hut to block the wind when he heard clearly the desperate cries for help. He and his wife jumped on the ATV and traveled about a kilometer and a half down the lake before they spotted a man and his dog clinging to the ice. Braithwaite was unable to safely pull the man and his dog from the water. His wife called 911, knowing that in this situation, every single second counts. Not knowing how long he was in the water crying for help, um, how long it was going to take the rescue crew to get out there because we couldn't do it. Seth Frontenac, firefighters trained in ice rescue, quickly rescued the man in his black lab. Police say the individual and his dog are extremely lucky to be alive today. By the time emergency crews were able to pull them from the frigid waters, they'd already been submerged, both of them in the water, for more than 50 minutes, which is more than enough time for hypothermia to set in. The incident has prompted Frontenac OPP to remind people to be careful when venturing out onto the ice. Take that second uh, little bit of time to uh, confirm how thick the ice is and uh, have a lot of caution when you come out because it really isn't as thick as it may, not, may appear. Braithwaite doesn't consider himself a hero. I'm thinking the heroes are the guys that jumped in the cold water to save them, which was Rick and uh, Fire and Rescue. So there's no doubt in my mind, uh, had he not exited his ice hut and heard the cries of help and uh, ventured out to locate this individual, that this story would have had a tragic outcome. Morgan Campbell, CKWS Newswatch, near Inverary. The 52-year-old 